Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth Gems Girl and welcome to the last day in Clara's pregnancy. We are on day nine of the pregnancy event and oh, we have already completed something. <laughs> That's nice. We have sent five sims to your house. We've completed that already. That's really nice. Okay, so we've got a few tasks to do today. I think we will start off by doing the appointment we need to use a phone to call the doctor to your home to check on the baby's progress. So let's let's get the appointment underway straight away. I've been saving the uh, the appointment for kind of like the last thing to do. But let's let's call the doctor over. Let's let's do our last doctor's appointment. Have a checkup. Six hours and fifteen minutes. One hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred and ninety simoleons. We will start that right away. And our support tasks. We are only eighty-three percent of the way through so mm, okay have 10 sims practice calming a tired sim on the phone i'm not entirely sure that we're going to complete this but we will give it a go so let's practice calming is six hours on a phone so i'll get 10 sims doing that now clara has finished her doctor's appointment that was her final doctor's appointment of this pregnancy and now she needs to Oh, hug one of the guests at the baby shower. Okay, so we're kind of like having a baby shower today because we need to hug one of the guests at the baby shower, take a photo with one of the guests at the baby shower, uh, dance with one of the guests at the baby shower. So it's all very baby shower orientated. So we've got a sim over here. Let's click on her and... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Because we've got a lot of things going on here. We've got dance with guests for 4 hours 15, take photo for 3 hours 15, hug for an hour and 15, and discuss help with cake for 1 hour 15. So I think that, yeah, these are the last four things. Are there only four things left to do? Yeah, four things left to do. And it's all these interactions with a guest. So uh, let's start with a dance with guests. We'll do the four hours 15 one first of all. Let's have a little watch of them. Oh, they're having a little hug first and then they're going to, oh yeah, they're going to have their dance. I love Clara's dance moves. <laughs> they're so cool. Clara's finished that task, so let's continue. Let's keep chatting to the sim and do these one of these other things. So let's let's do hug one of the guests at the baby shower. So here we go. Let's click on it and let's hug is one hour and fifteen minutes. Oh, oh, she's showing her scan. Clara has finished that. Now she needs to, she's got two more tasks, discuss help with cake and take photos. So let's discuss help with cake, first of all, for one hour and 15 minutes. We'll get rid of these uh, cookers as well, these stoves that are in the middle of this house. I just placed them down for a task. We also need to, in this video, we need to move house. Clara and her partner need to move house into their new house that they've spaced to have their baby because the house that they had does not fit a baby there's only, it's only one bedroom and also we need to name the baby so many of you have been commenting with amazing names for this baby thank you so much for that we will name the bit or we'll move house after this task and we'll name the baby when it arrives also all of my support sims have finished liking the simtrest post so we'll just head over to everyone, there we go, like Simtrest post, and oh we're 90% done, okay, have 13 sims for a nurse for pregnancy advice and tips, so we'll get that started, we've got a couple of phones over here, phone a nurse, that's two hours, I think I've only got one person over here, let's call a few more, make use of all of the phones that we've got over here, phone nurse, also, a few of you have been asking me, so when I click on the pregnancy event, like, this is not the last day of pregnancy, but it says three days, like, I've got three days left, and you've been asking me, like, why? Honestly, right now, I don't know. I'm sure by the end of the video, there will be, I will figure out, maybe it's that we have, we still have a few days to complete the support tasks after she has the baby. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just wait and see. Clara has finished talking to the sim and see if they can help bake a cake. Now, before we complete the last goal, which is take a photo with one of the guests at the baby shower, we are going to move house with Clara and her partner. 
So I'm over at their new house. So let's whistle Clara over. And this is their new house. I am going to do a tour of this house up on the channel. So I'm not going to show you too much of it for now. I'll put a video up of this house as soon as possible, possibly tomorrow. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you can see when I do upload that video. But let's click on here. And this is the last thing to do is take photo for three hours and 15 minutes. Our very last task in the pregnancy event. It's been a long one. Oh my goodness. I really like this actually, this, this little photo. Yeah, look at that. Taking a photo. That's so cool. We're still working on the support tasks. 90% through. We've got 13 sims currently on the phone. Our support sims have finished practicing preparing formula on the stove. So we'll go over to the various different houses and finish those tasks. Oh, some of them haven't quite finished yet. Some of them were on a like a one-star stove, so it's gonna take them a little bit longer. Okay, so we'll just leave them doing that there's how many have done it there's nine of them have done it four of them are a little bit slower but Clara has finished her task she has finished taking photos and that is all goal sets complete the final goal set is complete and maternity tokens have been awarded so what happens now so kind of Congratulations, all goal sets complete. Complete all support tasks to unlock the baby bonus. Okay, so we need to just continue doing the support tasks. So I'm over at the crib where we first started this pregnancy event. I just say pregnancy event progress is two days, there's, there's two days, 21 hours and 40 minutes left on it. I don't know whether it's just as soon as I complete all of the support tasks. It will be finished. I don't know. Let's let's continue doing these support tasks. I thought that my baby would just, or Clara's baby, I should say, Clara's baby will just arrive as soon as you'd finish day nine, but that is not the case. And I haven't used any LP to speed any of these things along or anything, so I'm not quite sure how my days, how this has worked out. To be honest, there we go. The support systems have finished practicing preparing baby formula, and I think maybe. There's one more thing for them to do. Okay, sit on a couch and sew 12 clothes for Clara's baby. So, this is only a one star, but I mean, I'm just going to, I'm going to use a one star because it's, it's night time now and I'm about to go to bed anyway, so it doesn't really matter which, um, which one it takes because I will be in bed anyway. So, but on a three star, it's three hours and 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is just, yeah, we'll set this up and we'll just see, we'll see how it, progresses. Our support sims have finished sewing clothes so let's go and see if this completes. Oh here we go. All goals complete. The support tasks are complete and maternity tokens have been awarded. Ah oh, congratulations. Yeah here we go. It's brilliant. Congratulations your sim now knows everything the pregnancy event has to offer. Pregnancy has been unlocked on Cribs. Pregnancy is a special mode that allows your sim to receive and grow a baby bump over six days. However, your sim does not have goals or tasks during the pregnancy. Yeah, okay, so we got the baby bonus. So yeah, all good. So the baby that Clara has is going to get the baby bonus. We've now got 22,420 coins that we can spend in the maternity store. That's excellent. But let's go over, oh, pregnancy event, journey's end, baby bonus. Congratulations, the new baby sim you are about to introduce to Simtown has earned the baby bonus, which will make them more productive through their long and illustrious life. So let's go over to the cot. And here, Clara has still got her baby, but she hasn't quite given birth yet. Let's go over to the cot and she can have her baby. So here is the cot. The cot is now flashing. So let's click on it and have baby is 12 seconds. So let's go for it. So you can see now the little pink circle around Clara is completely, completely complete. <laughs> it's all pink. Clara's on her way up. Unfortunately, this, this crib is in the old house. So uh, <laughs> she's having to have the baby here. Oh. Okay, so the pregnant person actually comes up to the cot, looks like they're in a bit of labour. 
for 12 seconds. And then are we gonna go into the create a sim? I'm assuming, yeah, here we go, we'll go into create a sim. So thank you so much everyone for your suggestions on baby names for this baby. We had so, so many. The name, she is a girl, uh, Clara has had a girl, and she's going to be called Amelia, which I think is an absolutely beautiful name. I'm just going to change her outfit into something a little bit cuter, maybe, ooh, what should we go with? I quite like this. Should we go with that? And what colour are her eyes? Let's just check, because sometimes you get a baby and they give them like, oh no, that's okay. Those eyes are appropriate. Sometimes they have like these bright red eyes or yellow eyes and it's like, um, no, we don't want a baby like that. So there we go. Let's add Amelia Jackson to the town. Our very first baby with the baby bonus that has gone through actual pregnancy. And here she is. Clara has picked her up. Clara has gone back to normal. You can see she's got no baby bump now. Let, let's go and try out. Let's change diaper. Let's try a few of these little different things. So she is now at the new house, and this is the new diaper changer, the changing table that we got with the contemporary design in the maternity store. Is she on her way up? Yeah, she's on her way up here. <laughs> smelly little baby. Amelia, you're so smelly. So there we go, guys. That is the pregnancy event completed. Now on our cribs, as it said, we have three options. We have the pregnancy event option, that is what we've just gone through. To get enough maternity tokens to get everything in the maternity store, I think you have to complete the actual pregnancy event, what we've just been through, about five and a half times. So it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. But the pregnancy event takes nine days and that costs two LPs. You can also now do pregnancy, which is six days and costs five LPs. And um, with that, you won't have any of the tasks and support event, support tasks and anything that you need to do. Your, your sim will just get a bump, but you won't be able to earn maternity tokens. So, I mean, if you want to have a bump, that's what the, the option you would go for. Or you can just do the old classic, add a baby which takes one day and costs 49500 I wonder if, is there anything that we can see with, with Amelia? Oh look, she's got a yellow, a yellow circle around her. Does that mean that she's got a baby bonus? Maybe it does. There we go, we will leave Clara and Amelia there. She's practicing her walking bless. But thank you so much for watching this video and actually this whole series on the whole pregnancy event. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about the event at all, do leave them down below in the comments and either myself or another summer will try our best to help you out. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for a house tour of this Clara's house coming soon. And also I have got a pregnancy morning routine coming up very soon either today or tomorrow but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you soon for another video bye <laughs>